Hello, it's Jewel from Distress Textures and Just a Gem Art Photography. I'm going to do a really quick tutorial for those that have never applied a texture to a photograph. Here I have my basic image open in Photoshop and I'm going to go out and find my textures and bring one in to apply to this image. I'm going to start by going up to the top left corner to file and then to the, at the pull down menu open. In here, I'm going to go ahead and select a texture from the Sugar Spun Skies Texture Pack. I'm going to choose Zest and Foam. It's going to be opening it in a separate window and it will already select it already for you to copy it. So all you want to do is go over to the left side of your page to the edit mode and then you want to come down to copy. Now if you're familiar with Photoshop, you could be using keyboard shortcuts versus using the toolbar here at the top, but just to keep it simple, I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. I already have my image copied to the clipboard, so we want to go back to the main image again. And then we just go to Edit at the top, and then Paste. Since the texture is not fully covering the image, I'm going to go ahead and click on my cursor over here on the left and I'm going to slide it up just a little bit and I'm clicking and holding it and moving it up. Now I want to fill this space in with texture so I'm going to go to edit, transform, scale and just pull that down a little bit with my mouse and then I'm also going to come over to the right and pull it in just a little bit. I'm not going to pull it all the way because then that's going to give me a little bit of distortion so I'm just going to keep it at about right there. Then I'm going to click my cursor and apply. Over in the bottom right corner is my layers palette. I have the background and then on top of that I have the texture layer. This pull down menu is the blending mode. So this is where you're going to apply the texture so you can see the image through the other side. The ones I use the most are multiply, which is very dark, overlay, which is very bright, lots of color, soft light which is for people that prefer a very lightly textured look and the one I use the most is hard light and I use this one the most because I like a heavily textured look almost like a painterly canvas the only thing with this is that we're losing a lot of detail of the house so what I'm gonna do is come in with a light eraser and erase away parts of the image that I want to be able to see more detail you can either mask this to have that effect so you're not erasing too much of the sky or you can just wing it and come in with the eraser and start going over it or you could even take your lasso tool and you can kind of roughly outline your image like from edge to edge and get the chimney stacks in here again I'm just doing this very very rough you could you could take a little bit more time at it, but for the purposes of this, I'm just going to go around it real quick. Now the key is, once you've isolated this, is you have to make sure you click on your texture. Or when you go to erase it, you're going to erase your image and not the texture. So now I'm going to go up and click on my layer. I'm going to increase my eraser just a little bit. And I'm just going to come in and start erasing away where I want the image to come through more. I'm going to increase the opacity a little bit and I'm just going to come in over the house because I really want the detail of the wood and the brick and the windows to stay. I'm going to keep a little bit of texture around the bottom. Just come in and just basically as much as, much as you want erased away. I had some birds over here on the post so I want to make sure I don't lose those and I want my path to be able to stand out so I'm going to erase that a little bit and then I also had another little post over here with a shadow that I want to keep so I'm going to uncover that as well. And that's it. You can deselect it and you can turn your texture on and off to see what you had as far as your before and after. I see there's still a little bit of texture on the chimney that I want to take away. So I'm going to lower my diameter and just come in and go over the tops of the chimneys so they're not covered too much in texture. 
And that's it. That is how you apply a texture to a photographic image. If you have any questions, you can email me at justagem, J-E-M, art, at gmail.com. I hope this helps. Thanks.